Hi guys, so we made it to the bridge and it looks like we have to pay and oh my god, it's so crazy. I remember when it used to be a dollar and I was three fifty to go in. We're about to pay so that we can cross the border here at uh, Aquatis. Yes, yes. Okay, now we're going to the next bridge um, where uh, they like they mark you like green or red and if it's red they stop you and they have to search all your car. If it's green then they just let you pass. Let's see what happens. Hopefully we get green. So this is what it looks like everybody, like there's people like already crossing and you know coming over either to work, for school, or just for grocery and stuff like that. You can see like there's a line right there. There's a line for people already coming back. Like I said, some might be going to work, some coming to see their family over here in El Paso. And uh, here we go. As soon as we go down from this hill, there's gonna be another like a toll, where like like Erica says, my wife, uh, they'll be, they'll just either we get a green light and we're good to go, or a red light and they have to stop us and search us. And it's random. It's not like you know they 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 pick and choose. It's just random. And here we are. Okay, guys. I'll let you know when we're over, we're across. Wish us luck. Hopefully we get that green light. So we got the green light, which is so good. And we just enter. What is? Yep, yeah, we're in Mexico, everybody. Now, right now we're just gonna go and uh, exchange some of our dollars to pesos. And uh, we gotta see which one of these uh, these houses of change uh, are, what well, the best option is, because a a lot, most of them are different. They have different uh, prices as far as how much they'll they'll buy the dollar from you and uh yeah we'll see which one we can find and then from there we're gonna go see my family Woohoo! all right guys we came to one of the spots right here where they sell you uh where you can sell your dollar for 18 20 pesos I want to do a hundred. 
tu amiga? Sí, todo. ¿Cuánto, cuánto le diste? Sí. Ahorita va a regresar y va también. So, how much uh, are you changing, baby? $100. So, we should approximately get about what? Let's see. About $1,800. Pesos. So, e, so 100 times 18, 20. 20. So we should be getting 1,820 pesos. pesos. Awesome. I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do also. Okay. Let's see, guys. Se compra y se venta. I should say vende, but whatever. You know, it's all good. This is venta. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty cool. We didn't even have to get off. We just told the guy, you know what, we want 100 bucks worth of pesos. And there it is, you know. 1,820. Just like, he, you know, we're supposed to get. And now, we're off to... My family! Woohoo! They're all excited to see her. And me, and me too, but... We'll see what... Well, we got this. Oh my god, look at all this traffic. We're supposed to go through there. find another way so think, some of the things I love about Juarez is their cheap food which is really good that's one of my favorite things and obviously I like to come visit her, my wife's family but everything over here is freaking cheap and, and awesome let's look for some barbacoa oh yeah Put no music on right now, but normally we do. It's not like too quiet or anything, right, baby? Right. It's not the prettiest, but my family's here. Everything is cheap, food, candy, and I just love it. Oh, we love bringing chips from over here. This is where the only place where we can get them. They're called Doritos Incognita. They're like this black bag of Doritos. We'll show you later, guys. Awesome. You guys will see. We'll show you, okay? So you guys are like. What Doritos are these? Stay uh, tuned um, for a giveaway. We'll give you a souvenir from Juarez and a bag of chips so you can try what we like. So it's gonna be like a little, like a little, a little basket, I guess, of some stuff from over here. But you gotta. You, you have to watch it to the end, and then we'll tell you how to enter to the giveaway. Awesome, guys. Stay tuned, okay? All right, so my wife's about to tell me a story, okay? I, I really, really want to hear this. So let's see what she's got to tell me. So here, the transportation, uh, they ride buses, but the buses, they call it camiones. Or, and or never, metros. Or metros. I've never been in one of them. The only, way, the only time that I was on a metro was because we were going to my aunt's funeral. And they had, my family has, owns metros. <clears throat> and um, we were on them and then some people tr were trying to get on it we're like we're not we're not in service right now it was so funny and it was like crazy because it was raining and hailing and then then so sudden we got stuck so then we had to walk it was oh crazy my God. <laughs> but we made it to the funeral which was the most important and it was crazy experience i never never got on a metro or a bus as stayed over there so I finally got my little wish come true. <laughs> we found some barbacoa and we're gonna buy buy the kilo. It's uh, 300 pesos por el kilo de barbacoa. And I'm ready to buy that shit. So let's see. 16 for about for about a Pound to two pounds of barbacoa, and it comes with three. Like, three? 
it's somewhere around it. And it comes with tortillas, you know, it comes with everything that you need. I'll show you guys right now when I when we get to her aunt's house. Oh my god, that's just so good. He's been being so annoying yesterday and this morning saying that he wanted his papa cloth. So we are going back to El Paso where we stay with my husband's family and we had to pay to leave Juarez 30 pesos which is like two dollars. A little bit less than two a bucks. A little bit less than two dollars to leave. Yeah. And it's a big ass line. Normally when we do cross the border we're like heading back to to uh, where the U.S. Customs is at. The line isn't this. Usually we can get up to pass over passing the hill. And right now we're like right where we are paying the so the line's pretty long compared to other times that we've that we've been to Juarez. And yes, yeah, it's, it's it gets good thing that the sun is going down a little bit right now. But imagine like being in this line waiting probably from an hour to two hours sometimes. Hundred degrees temperature it, it sucks but it doesn't look too bad today no it doesn't and we did we were able to get some chips yes how got, many bags did we get baby we got 70 bags of doritos and usually it's like 50 cents what we pay for them and then we got four bags of this right here Dry meat. It's, well, it's beef jerky. But over here it's carne seca in Juarez. And this is about, this was about 180, 180 pesos, which is about 10, a little bit under 10 bucks. And that bag, we usually get it in Denver for about like $30. But it's smaller. Well, the $15, the $15 one is way smaller like half half the size of that so we we take advantage that we're over here and we start getting we start buying stuff that we, we can't get over there in Colorado and as you can see there's line traffic everywhere people walking over the bridge it's crazy Shout out to Erica's fans and subscribers. Yeah, it's crazy. Once you get over, it's uh, it's about a 30 minute drive back home to where we're staying at with one of my with my godmother. Nothing really going on in this. 
this town, you know, just the only thing here is like her grandparents. And then uh, at this moment, we're actually heading over to uh, Palomas. Well, it's like she said, it's like 10 minutes from the actual town, so that's pretty good for them. So we'll see you guys right now when we're over in Palomas. So we're already here at the Columbus Port of Entry so that we can cross over to Palomas. Palomas. And uh, I mean, this is my first time here. Uh, my, my wife says that they changed it up quite a bit. Yeah, last time when I came was three years ago and nothing was like this. It looks really modern. It looks like it's better than what they had. Yeah, no, it's like really nice. Well, uh, to her, from what she's seen before. So right here, there's a little the crossing where we're just gonna go over to Mexico already. That's not. That's pretty cool. It's small, small little entry. We are now leaving the United States of America. Oh, cool. It's like literally like an hour, right? Mm -hmm. From it was where we came from all the way from El Paso for it took us about an hour to get over here, and uh, it's just crazy because all we did is just drive along the the border. And now we're in Mexico. We went from seeing 7-Elevens to seeing the Rios. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. They have these weird ass bumps on the road. So there it is. Look at that. Mexico, here we come. Palomas. Look, there's a pink store that my wife says she's gonna take me to the pink store. No, it's not Victoria's Secret, guys. It's just an actual pink store. Mm. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Is it that one? I believe so. I've never been here. Me either. Like, I have been here, but <laughs> not like this, you know? Oh, this is where they just. They're gonna just check us. Oh, that's not like that. But they search you. Alright, so I'm gonna turn off my camera so that they can check us. We ain't got nothing, so so we good. Hey right, guys, so we made it to Palomas. And yeah, this is where we're in the small little shopping center. And then right there, my uncle has his own optical. Mexican handmade items and we're gonna go take you and so you can look with us too. So as you can see up here like it's everything that's handmade. And I have colorful the building is each each local has its own color. And love what they did with the windows. It's amazing how they took their time and did it one by one. And then it's own little charm. I don't think I would have the patience to do any of these items. It takes time, practice, and a lot of patience. All this handcrafted. Yeah, 
know, so that's just a little bit of what this town has. Not a lot, but I mean, it's it's a it's something and it's unique. It, like she said, uh, back in the day, it used to be much nicer, but unfortunately, a lot of violence and crime came to this little town, and it really ruined it. But it looks like they're really trying to pick things up on their own and and try and be back to what they used to be. So, I mean, hopefully, we wish them luck. Now, let's go into the pink store. So, here it is, guys, the store. Like, all the little cool stuff that they, everything in here is handmade. Which is really can't talk that much in here because uh, the really one is recording in here but uh, we took a chance to show you guys all the stuff they have look at all these plates and remember everything is handmade so guys we are going back to El Paso we are done doing our shopping our visiting here in Palomas and my husband got some sunglasses and glasses. Oh yeah. And yeah, we're gonna cross the board to go to uh, New Mexico, Columbus. And then from there, we're gonna go to El Paso. It's an hour and a half. And then, yeah, like I said, watch to the end of the video and you'll find out how to enter to the giveaway. We will be giving a surprise box. It will be items from Juarez and items from Palomas. So guys, this is a borderline. It looks like there's not a lot of traffic. And we would be out of here maybe like 30 minutes, depending on how long it takes to check every car. It's just one lane. Maybe an hour, guys. I don't think 30 minutes. No, I don't think that long. I think about it. I'd say about 30 minutes. Let's see how it goes. So we got here at 10 a.m. and it's 4:07. So it was a couple hours. Went to go eat. Yeah. So he got some cool glasses that that comes off that part. The magnet. Sunglasses. <laughs> so I go walk over there. I'll meet you on the other side. Just kidding. It's, the good thing is it's not hot again. Yeah. Like it was in the morning. Right now it says it's 99, but it doesn't feel like that. Especially since we have our AC on right now. Look, hopefully we don't have to go through the, over there, the inspection. And the inspection. What they do is they do an x-ray of your whole car to see what you have, like, everything. Yeah. See? We don't want to go through there. It's not like we're hiding something, but it would take longer. Or are we? Oh, yes. <laughs> we're not hiding anything. So there's this guy in the back seat, and he, uh, He's asking us to cross him over. No, I'm just kidding, guys. Oh, there's something funny happening here in Palomas. You know, in those movies um, where you see a white guy that he comes and asks a bunch of Mexicans who is ready, who wants to go with him to work. And that actually happened. A white guy came and asked a Mexican guy that he needed somebody to work for the day. And he said himself, so he, he left with him. Which I think it's funny because I thought it only happened in movies, but it doesn't. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so we are out of Palomas. We are now at Columbus. And we are heading to El Paso. See you guys in an hour and 30 minutes. Oh, and I'm eating these. <laughs> chips that are so good it comes with all these kinds what are they called? my favorite it says 38 pesos look it's my store just kidding guys super awesome but yeah look. we are heading over there
guys, welcome back to the Familia Diaz channel. Today is our last day here in El Paso and we decided to go visit my grandmother so we can just say bye to her and we are here currently in Juarez. And um, so it took a while to get over into Juarez. There's um, a lot of the militaries on the bridge right now and they're checking everybody. And I think also one of the main reasons because of that is uh, there was a shooting that just uh, happened about an hour ago. It started and it's still continuing. Uh, there's a shooting that was just happening here in uh, a Walmart in Cielo Vista Mall. And unfortunately, from what we've heard already, there's a police officer down and also uh, an older lady. We don't know yet if she's been shot or if she's been hurt or anything, but they said that she fell to the floor. That's all that we know so far. Uh, we do send our prayers out to everybody, make sure everybody's okay. Everybody's in lockdown in the mall and restaurants around the area. But uh, but yeah, that's what's going, going on right now, but we are and bought us, and uh, we are safe as ourselves and we're just gonna make sure we want to make sure that everybody's safe as well and uh, we're gonna just uh, say bye to my wife's family and uh, we'll let you we'll keep you guys updated about our trip and what happened today hey guys so we decided to take a little tour a detour here to El Cometa, so I can eat some flautas with my baby. Check it out, guys. And if you guys ever come to Juarez, you guys look up El Cometa, you'll find some of the best food there, guys. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. <laughs> Alright, guys, so we are done eating at El Cometa. Oh, my God, it's like one of the best spots here in Juarez and yeah we just had to we had to just take a little stop a little detour and get some flautas which is like they're one of their specialties and uh, now we're on our way to uh and it's super cheap guys we got two orders of flautas which each order has four but they're super big they're like this big Hi. and then it comes with the soda and we paid twelve dollars for both of us you can't go you can't get you can't get wrong anything else better than that you know cheap and delicious but yes no like i said we're actually now we're going on our way to go say uh go hang out with my wife with erica's family for a little bit and then and then just go back to el paso later on in the afternoon and head back to denver so stay tuned guys and then uh a little bit later on i'll let you guys know uh, how you can get that that uh, surprise box giveaway and uh, and so just stay tuned okay so we are going back to El Paso and we're gonna get some rest because tomorrow morning we are going back to Denver Colorado and we are been here for what like an hour and a half yeah quite on an hour and a half yeah and we're like tired and we just want to go home and rest take a shower it's been a long day yeah but yeah, look, this is what we've got to deal with right now. There's lines and lines, but it's taking a while for us to get to this point. It's just taking forever. But yeah, we're almost, we're almost in the U.S., guys. And for the giveaway, we want you to like and subscribe to our channel. And please comment below and tell us if you've been to Mexico. If you have, tell us what part of Mexico. If you haven't been to Mexico... Let us know if you want to go to Mexico and what part. And so we will be choosing randomly who gets that uh that that give the giveaway the little box that has uh you know a couple of stuff from over here and we will have you PM us and Instagram so you can send us your address and we can send it to you. You heard it, guys. So like she said like it subscribe comment let us know about your previous stories any experiences or if you guys do want to travel just you know comment a little bit a small story or something like that and and uh 
we'll let you know who guys on the next video who the winner is. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos.